so um not talking about employment seekers now like how can we generate business leads with the use of linkedin <laughs> so linkedin lead generation is again like uh, see it is a combination of strategy and engagement okay so uh, business always comes with a particular goal which will be revenue generation so they cannot waste time or just do uh, some investment of time in linkedin and then get away okay so they should have a proper goal of uh, either it could be uh, achieving a particular revenue or uh, reaching out to the your target uh, goals i mean target companies and goals all that has to happen that should be the combination so first thing again oh. it's a online reputation platform for a business owner where if you search uh, a ceo's name or a startup's name in google the first page which comes in google is a linkedin page okay mm, yes. so obviously it reflects their brand which uh, comes from their own industry keywords and all that and especially they have to be very very professional in their headshot and other pages where uh, they they are giving information on how they can help their target audience okay so instead yes. of telling about me 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 all the time they should mm-hmm. project the uh, aspect on content in the summary on how they can help their clients in a better way or what is the usp and value proposition they can offer during their services that's number 1 okay. yes okay. sir number 2 it's a online networking platform so just like any other uh, trade face or networking events this is also an online networking platform where they have to network with a high net worth individuals or b2b owners where they can give lot of business to them okay mm, yes. so it could be uh, their industry professionals maybe their current or former clients potential clients and other professionals anybody okay whom they want to network with a like minded people so that it's easier for them to get into a business at a later part okay, okay. third part not only connecting they have to engage okay there is no point in just getting a phone number and uh, you don't even talk right so yes. you'll have to uh, start conversing with them on a regular basis through your sharing the relevant content about your industry participating in groups or engaging with uh, their post in comments you know all that so that you establish yourself as a leader in your industry okay okay so so whoever is uh, been visible if you look at it everybody will be talking about not sales but talking about insights and they will be educating you a lot okay yes once you see that you immediately click the follow button and start following because you feel that this person will be helping you in giving more information mm, yes okay so that way they have to build a build their uh, a profile as a leader so that everybody starts following okay that is a level of engagement they have to do in this platform so that they uh, capitalize those followers as customers during a later point in time okay and yes, the fourth part is there is also called uh, linkedin advertising uh, something similar mm-hmm. to facebook advertising here also you can do advertising but it's a very uh, a sponsored one where you have to invest a lot uh, for yeah. that i don't recommend to startups or small business owners it is only meant for enterprise customers where they have exclusive sales people whom they okay. can run a major campaign and collect leads okay yes so okay and there is also one more tool called sales navigator where uh, it's a premium tool again it is useful yeah. for only for sales people from the enterprise like larger mnc's comparing mm-hmm. to startups and uh, entrepreneurs so that way these five aspects will definitely help them to generate leads the underlined information or core information i would uh, want to convey the audience is it's not a direct uh, a place for selling it is only a networking platform where you have to connect with people who they can give you 100 likes okay okay so that's the underlying aspect which you have to keep it in mind yeah okay so so for a business owner what sets linkedin as a as a platform which stands out is that they do not use it for selling instead they use it to network and to engage with people and right. to get more insights so for a job seeker 
for him the job seeking platforms are like nokri.com and indeed so hmm. what does linkedin um as a platform office that sets it apart from the job searching platforms like indeed or nokri.com this is a wonderful question where uh, many people uh, must know the differentiation between the regular job portal and linkedin because many people use linkedin as nokri okay so which should not be the case yes. so the first thing is here uh, it's a professional focus comparing to just sharing the cv to a recruiter okay so uh, it should be more on emphasizing and building relationship and expanding your network that's the core of linkedin okay, okay yes so so the 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 basic information is building relationship Hmm. okay it's not a place for applying to jobs getting jobs job conversation okay mm -hmm. that is what you do in indeed and an okri okay. okay because their primary focus is only towards helping the job seekers by listing the various companies jobs that's all mm -hmm. okay but here in linkedin you have to converse with a hiring manager recruiter or a ceo or even employee of a company and get more information and build relationship so that that refer i mean that uh, relationship will give you work you work you for giving reference yes okay which may not be possible in the regular straightforward uh, job portals hmm okay so here you are uh, in nokri you apply to jobs uh, and there in the story, there ends the story okay where you don't have if at all the recruiter is coming back there is a conversation otherwise you don't even know what is happening to your cv hmm yes okay but here is something uh, when you when you start as a student itself if you start connecting with your dream company say you want to go work with flipkart or amazon or tcs you start interacting with an employee with the tcs and mm -hmm. uh, uh, build relationship so that tomorrow if there is a job opening he will only tell you that okay you apply here i will recommend it mm, yes okay that possibility uh, is what you have to make sure so that's the first part mm -hmm. second part it offers numerous uh, opportunities to engage with other industry you know uh, other groups building network uh, mm -hmm. and getting lot of updates uh, from uh, the real time industry news where the linked there is a page called linkedin news india where they keep on publishing the mm -hmm. latest industry news on what is the level of statistics and what is the number of jobs which is opened yes so okay so you you will get to know which industry is performing well which is which industry which you should not apply okay mm -hmm. and which industries are re regularly hiring or which company has gone for layoff you know all that inside you get regularly if you look at the uh, right side of your linkedin profile okay okay so they keep uh, uh, publishing the latest uh, news and uh, which you, which will give you a lot of insight because these are the publications done by hr people senior hr people or uh, the very uh, professional writers who collect lot of data and statistics and then put it as an article mm -hmm, okay yes so which is which may not be possible in uh, nokri or other portals so like linkedin offers more personal touch with the employer as compared yes. to the job searching platforms Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. See, well, imagine an idea where uh, you are meeting a recruiter whom you have already have a conversation about ten times. Yes. Okay. How it will be if you go for an interview? You will be more comfortable. Mm, yes. Sir. Correct. But if you if you get an opportunity from Nokri, you don't even know who is the recruiter, and till you sit in the interview, you will be shivering or you will be very nervous because you are meeting for the first time. Okay. Yes. Sir. correct whereas think about a situation where you have already had multiple conversation in linkedin linkedin and got to know what all the uh, basic questions it will be asked what kind of skills you will have to develop you know everything you you prepare well and then if you go for an interview it it's lots more easier because he will only tell what is the requirement yes okay so that way use linkedin for building relationship that's the idea i want to give to the students community so that they understand it uh, better the final part i want to give is the premium features which is offered by linkedin uh, where you will get lot of uh, uh, the same thing again the in mail options and uh, you know linkedin learning which is not at yeah. all there in nokri or other services mm -hmm. okay see of course they have some courses but still 
uh, the relative reliability plot and uh, uh, aspect and other things i'm not very confident so that is why oh. i'm not uh, recommending but linkedin is something where you can see uh, the mentors uh, background because uh, they they also have a linkedin profile in them and okay. then once you see the credibility experience level and all that then you can go for those uh, video uh, learning methodologies which is not possible in other portals so that's a huge differentiation between job portal and linkedin